clarify about robotic surgeries. So what do we all think about this robotic surgeries? First thing is which comes to our mind is nobody in my family had a robotic surgery. Yes, many had this hysterectomy or myomectomy surgeries, but most of them had lab. So now why are we talking of robotic surgeries? Am I the first person or am I a scapegoat or uh, what should I, experimental animal for this robotic surgery? No. So these surgeries have been approved and have been there in the world in India since 2000. So we are, it's now 2024. So since 24 years, people have been doing these surgeries and these are definitely a new innovation or a definite edge over a laparoscopic surgery. But why now? Because they've been cost has been coming down. So first when it came, it was too huge for us to uh, address that cost. But now as time has progressed and with new inventions and innovations in this field of surgery, it has become accessible to many of uh, people around. So many of us can afford this surgery. That's why now we are able to do or offer robotic surgery to many of them. That's why maybe in our family, many of them did not have a robotic surgery, we might be the first person, but it is a safe surgery and we can uh, get the robotic surgery if it is required. And the second doubt which most of them ask us is, will the robot only do? What is the role of a surgeon? So the surgeon will just, it's not some software program where we load everything into the robot. It's not like that. So it's like a master-slave combination. So the surgeon is the master. So we sit at a designated chair or console and we hold the uh, small uh, instruments in our fingers and we move those fingers so that the arms of the robot move. So you might have seen many videos where instead of the hands of the surgeon, there be movement, the surgeon will be moving small arms that will move, in fact, in turn move the arms of the robot. So it's like surgeon is allowing or making the arms of the robot do the surgery. It's not that the arms of the robot do on their own or some software allows them to do, no. So we might think that there might be glitches in the software, there might be some uh, sudden current, some uh, te technical problems, no. It is everything is under the control of the surgeon. Surgeon only can do a robotic surgery. So in gynecology, uh, we, we have to do many surgeries like removing the uterus, hysterectomy, removing the fibroids, myomectomy, ovarian cysts, surgery for infertility, endometriosis. So off late many of these surgeries, initially we used to do by a traditional open method where a big cut used to be given on an abdomen. Then an advancement came, a laparoscopic surgery where through one centimeter cut we used to do. Now all these surgeries can be done by a robotic method. So in a robotic method, smaller incisions, just 8 millimeter incision where there is no suture. So these procedures can be done through smaller incisions and a quick recovery time. So when you do a robotic surgery, when compared to an open method, there is definitely a quick recovery and discharge soon from the hospital and less pain. So definitely the pain is very, very less when compared to open or a laparoscopic method and quick return. So after discharge, you can get back to your day-to-day -day activities very soon when compared to the other methods of surgery. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.